Ross a 2-0 defeat to, to Chesterfield today. That scoreline doesn't tell the full story. I thought we gave a really good account of ourselves today, but what are your thoughts? Um, they had some chances. They took their chances. We had a lot of chances. We didn't take ours. Um, I think we've had four very good opportunities, 1v1s in there, and a penalty. So it's really hard to um, criticise the players, really, because they put in an absolute shift today. We had to change the tactics slightly uh, because of the pitch. It's a little bit bobbly, it's a bit um, lively, but we worked it very well. And, and to a man, everyone put in a real shift today. Um, you know, we respect Chesterfield massively from where they are, but as soon as that whistle went, the boys done their business and they were pressing and running over them. And um, great application all round, really. So I'm, yeah, a little bit um, deflated because we put in an absolute shift to get something out of that game. Uh, they've hit the post and they've had some chances themselves, but. We've had some real golden ones. Um, on another day, we score four or five, but uh, today wasn't meant to be. So loads of positives in there. Um, but yeah, it never makes the boys feel any better when you say, look, we've had a, a real good go and uh, we've been really dominant in terms of chances at times. But, you know, we want we want to get the three points today and we didn't manage that. So, um, you know, big credit for players, you know, leaving work, coming up here, not seeing him since the last game, no trainings in between. Um, and they've come and applied themselves brilliantly. So that's all we ask. The gap, and I'm not just talking about in the table between the two teams, is is big. Does that make the positives bigger, or is it just we've come short on the pitch and they're, they're the same? Visually on the table is a big gap. I thought today it didn't look like there was a massive gap, and, and that's just me being honest. You know, others might say something different, but the feel of it, the application of the players, um, you know, we've had some really good golden chances and we've let them off a little bit. I've, they're a good team. They've, they've caused problems and they create overloads. And you know the centre forward movement up front is very clever. Got some really good players, um, but we've created more than enough chances to put at least three goals away. And and I think the boys need to know. Not many teams do that here. Um, they're a strong team, and the league shows it. The, the results show it. They're very good, very good team. And and I think that we need to take a load of positives from it because not many teams step onto him here and create as many chances as we did and we worked him in behind. The pitch, as I said, was a bit lively. Um, couldn't really get our possession going as much as we wanted to, but they pressed us as well. So it was a real sort of counter pressing here, pressing there, and it was a real competitive game, I thought. So yeah, we can get on the coach with our heads held high, um, get some food in us and um, dissect it on Thursday because there's loads of positives tonight, loads of positives. And the boys need to realise that, that we get on the coach in good spirits. Um, on another day, we score four or five. Um, so yeah, loads of positive to take from tonight. Um, fans as well coming to watch, and I think they appreciate we had loads of golden chances to, to score tonight. So hopefully we can put that right Thursday, um, and then lead into the next game. Yeah, I mean you say there that the the spirits are good. What is the mood like in there? Because it, it's got a sort of bittersweet feel, hasn't it? We, we've come up against one of the best teams this division's ever seen, putting a really good account of ourselves. Another day it could have been could have been coming away with at least a point. But we've come up short, so what's, what are the lads like? Mixed, a little bit mi music's on, a um, little bit mixed. You know, some of the boys you've missed a couple chances, obviously uh, annoyed with themselves, which is normal. That's just sort of human. Some boys know they're putting a real effort and a fine display of themselves, and you know it's bubbly. It, it sounds weird, but you know you, we've got a great changing room, um, and we put in a massive shift. And I think when you do that, you can accept sometimes a result at times. Um, we've created chances, we've come here and we've, you know, we've, we have caused problems. And I think if you come here and don't cause anything, you're under the cosh for 90 minutes and get battered four, five, six nil. It'd be hard to have the music on. But I think the boys really put in a, a shift today, you know, front footed, pressing the goalie, pressing everyone. We get joy from pressing. Um, and on another night, we score four or five. And I think they're the positives we need to take from it. And the boys realize that we're, it's fine margins, real fine margins and, you know, this season they've not really gone for us, but effort, attitude, application, sweat, um, it was all there tonight and the boys need to you know, know they've put a real shift in because we're going to encourage it um, and Thursday we'll kick on again. It doesn't feel like it's a team 14 points adrift at the bottom of the table. It feels like a team that are fighting for absolutely everything because they are. What do you put that down to? Um, yeah, I think it's, it's the, the nature of what we do. 14 points, could be 25 points, could be 30 points. Um, we're not going to change what we do. You know, we've got a real appetite to, to do well. We're learning. We've learned a lot today from Chesterfield. 
Uh, we learned a lot at the beginning of the season. We've learned a lot tonight. And we've also learned that some of our players are not far from, you know, Chesterfield starting 11. And I think that's big credit to them. Um, we, we, we try and put in a plan as best as possible, leading from one game to the other. With no training in between, you hope the boys look at, you know, the PDF, the videos, and check their WhatsApps. Um, and they come here with a good appetite. And, you know, 7,000 fans, great support. Fans are brilliant for Chesterfield. And you've got to enjoy these moments playing in front of these fans. Um, but as I said, the pitch was a bit lively, so we had to tweak things a little bit, and the boys took it on, took it on board, and we affected them. So I think that's the, the bottom line: is we affected the top of the league. Um, we could have scored a few goals, so we've got to take big positives from that. You're absolutely right. The atmosphere in here was absolutely fantastic. In the past, we've, I suppose, we've sort of crumbled in some of them atmospheres in some matches. Today, the opposite happened. Is that an indication of how far we've come this season? Yeah, I think South End away was probably a one from memory I thought was was pretty pants that day um, and I thought the crowd played a big big part in that I actually think today boys sort of rose to the occasion with the fans you know they embraced it um, you know our support is always there 100% but not in 7,000 numbers and we need to make sure we appreciate our fans coming on the road and travelling and watching us as well because I think they see what we're trying to do we're trying to be competitive we're trying to run in behind we're trying to press we're trying to play our Oxford City brand of football um, and I think that, that that's, for me, enough when the boys leave it all on the pitch. They empty the tank. And when you empty the tank and you give everything for the club, um, we deserved a few goals today. And that would be the message leading forward is you've got to empty the tank in every game. Don't leave anything in the dressing room. Don't leave it on the coach. Keep running through walls. And, you know, there's some boys in there who went through walls for, for, for their teammates. And that's a massive factor. And I think, you know, the performances um, of recent... You know, everyone's putting a real shift in. But, you know, we don't take our chances today. And that's probably the bottom line is we're creating more than enough chances each game, being a bit more clinical. Um, 